I have had a lifelong love affair with airplanes. It started in childhood when a favorite Sunday activity was to go with my dad to the observation promenade of a sleepy little airport called Friendship, now Baltimore Washington International. Below us, a dozen or so passengers would file out from the gate and walk up the stairway of a capital or colonial DC-3, greeted by the pretty lady in the tailored uniform with those white gloves. The steps would fold up into the airplane. Next, a man would walk in front of the left engine with a fire extinguisher. Then a whine, followed by a puff of smoke and the propellers starting to turn, and amidst a great commotion of smoke and throaty sputter, the great machine would roar to life. The man with the fire extinguisher would then walk over to the other side of the plane, and the dramatic display would continue as the pilots fired up the number two engine. The captain would give a jaunty salute and slide his window shut, and with a powerful roar, the great machine would pivot right and pull away from the gate. Minutes later, no ground delays back then, we'd see it roaring down the runway, its tail lifting off the ground as it gained speed, and finally the machine would lift off and climb out gracefully over the bucolic Maryland countryside, the entire sequence captured in distant, murky black and white by the excited lad with his brownie hawkeye box camera. Sometimes the show featured bigger stars, the occasional capital DC-4 provided twice the excitement with two more roaring, smoke-belching radial engines coming to life. And if one was lucky, things might get a bit more modern, like the gleaming silver fuselage with a great big tail and the proud eagle and the words across the windows, Fly Eastern Airlines on the Martin 404. The kid's brownie gave way to a succession of more and more advanced 35mm cameras. The fun of watching DC-3s and 4s and Martin liners gave way to the thrill of riding on and photographing the venerable United DC-6 mainliners, the graceful constellations of TWA, the gleaming silver American Propjet Electra flagships, the United DC-8 whose nose seemed to be grinning at you. The snarky-looking 727-200s, the handsome L-1011s and 757s, the majestic 747, the impressive 777 in united blue and gray, and the scampering little Air Canada CRJs with their neat winglets, each aircraft unique in the distinctive livery of its airline. I spoke of my love affairs starting with those Sunday trips with my dad to the observation promenade at Friendship Airport. Yep, that's where the puppy love started, but the passion came ten years or so later.